It was the moment that brought down the house. Ariana Grande performing her hit song, God is a Woman, at the MTV Video Music Awards. An emotional high point after a roller coaster year for the star with a new fiance. Pete Davidson, thanks for existing. Love you. And a new album. The light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. She is known for her big vocals, hitting high notes in hits like Problem and Into You. Is no stranger to success, but this time she's making a comeback. I want you just to finish a sentence for me. The sentence is, Ariana Grande is. I don't know, man. Living your best life. Living Grateful, best happy. Life. A year ago, this kind of happiness didn't seem possible after her life changed in an instant. Last May, a deadly blast rang out following the singer's Manchester performance. A suicide bomber killed 22 and injured hundreds more. A lot of people thought you weren't going to perform again. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to either. Less than two weeks following the tragedy, she was back center stage in Manchester again. Manchester, I love you with all my heart. Baby. For One Love Manchester, a benefit concert she organized for the victims of the bombing. I didn't think anyone was going to show up at my shows, and they did. And Over 50,000 people. A moment of triumph after a dizzying year that brought her back to the studio. The powerful No Tears Left to Cry, an anthem to her experience. And now, her most intimate album yet, Sweetener. And this album is a lot more personal to you. Life happens and things happen and yeah, I felt very inspired this time. Congratulations on order, by the way. I'm sitting here. I can barely look at you because I'm looking down oh, at thanks. your finger. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you so much. To the very talented and very funny yeah. Pete Davidson. Mm -hmm. The couple announcing their surprise engagement earlier this summer after just weeks of dating. How do you Joe? meet him on SNL and you're like, I'm going to marry him? How do you do that? Hey, Ariana, I overheard. Do you like want to smoke some pot or something? <laughs> Hot, let's smoke some crack, man. I'm good. <laughs> well, I was joking. I like, I thought, it, I just thought he was so cute. And the only thing we said to each other is just like, hi. And like, we just like worked <laughs> together. I was like, I'm gonna marry that man. Cut to three years later. I just ticks every box and just gets better every day. Both have been touched by tragedy. Pete lost his father, an FDNY firefighter in 9-11 and has been open about his struggles with mental health, something Ariana has been vocal about herself, breaking down in this Beats One interview. Mental health is so important. Um, people don't pay enough mind to it because we have things to do. How did you know Pete was the one for you? I mean, it's just like a feeling, you know? That's so cheesy. Like, people are always like, when you know, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, whatever, okay. The couple is obviously smitten. I you my life. Ariana even including an ode to her fiance on the album, aptly titled Pete Davidson. I made it just to like send to him, you know, as just like a nice little love letter. And I will strike down upon thee. Also on the album, some help from some pretty talented friends. And on this album, I mean, we all heard God is a woman, and you had Madonna as the voice yeah. of God. So what made you choose Madonna? She's paved the way for every female artist who's working today. Everyone who is in the pop game right now is doing something that Madonna probably did for her. Her latest, the culmination of an incredibly emotional year. There's one song on at the end of the album called Get Well Soon. Yeah. And there's 40 seconds of silence yeah. at the end of the song. I wanted to honor the Manchester victims. I wanted to make the length of the song uh, five minutes and 22 seconds, just as like a little way to like celebrate and like honor them and their lives and stuff. Just wanted to add that to the end of the album to give them a little hug and kiss. For Nightline, I'm Michael Strahan in New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.